Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Rob again, doing a, another update, uh, review, um, if you like, of uh, my new bike. So since we last spoke, I've added a couple of small uh, little accessories that I'll talk about, and I've also replaced the screen with the uh, V with the slipstream uh, wraparound style screen. So I'll talk a bit about that. Here it is, the, uh, the V-Stream screen in the standard height. Uh, very happy with the screen so far. I had a V-Stream screen, screen on my previous wing uh, and that worked, I found that worked really well. To be honest, I found the Honda screen on the new bike also worked quite well. It was just mainly, um, it was a bit boring to look at and, and because I was used to this style of screen, I bit the bullet and went for a new screen for, as much for aesthetics as anything else. Um, I find this screen works really well, although if I was to do it again, maybe I would go for the plus two inch version only because so far I'm, in my riding, I find that this screen works best uh, when I raise it a couple of inches so but it's been cold it's cold in Sydney so I'm I'm appreciating some more protection having it raised um, I'm guessing that in summer that I'll prefer it and I'll be happy with the height that it's at in the down position um, so that's like the major change that I've made to the bike since the last video I've added one little uh, more one little a piece of chrome and that's the cover that goes on this piece above the passenger footrest just to just to tidy up that area a little bit um, that's about it for accessories as far as how I'm going on the bike my experience so far uh, super happy with everything uh, the performance is amazing um, I'm getting used to the different ride modes very occasionally using economy, but not often. Tour is where I have it 90% of the time. And then when we get to the twisty sections, I like to put it into sport because it offers that extra performance and engine braking and sound and feel. Um, I find that works really, really well for me. I did experience the bike in manual mode on a ride last weekend. Uh, we came down a... Uh, very steep um, road with a lot of uh, tight curves in it and I put the bike into manual put it into third gear and found that that was perfect for those uh, riding conditions uh, it just gave me the engine braking that I was after uh, and the throttle response so yeah getting used to to the system but it's amazing that you can get used to something so radically different so quickly. Um, I've stopped looking for a clutch lever long ago and really appreciate uh, the way the system operates. Again, with regards to the seat, personally, I'm happy. My passenger, my pillion, is extremely happy. She was uh, very happy with the seat on my 20 my 2002 model Goldwing, um, and, but she was very uncomfortable on my 2012. Um, you wouldn't think that there was a lot of difference in those uh, seats, but she complained of the extra width around the rider's backrest area of the seat on the 2012. Um, but she's extremely happy with this seat. Um, she finds it just a whole lot easier to get on and off and and not having those sort of uh wings if you like that the uh the previous bike had that caused her legs to be splayed uh very wide so she and she also appreciates the extra room that this backrest offers and also the armrests that are built in to the backrest um she's only been on one ride with me that ride was about 350 kilometers and she just kept telling me all day how comfortable she was so that's that's great 99 percent of my riding is just myself 
but occasionally I take a pillion and I, and I like um, that she's comfortable. The conductivity with the system um, has been really good. Um, it, it, it all seems to work fine. I, I don't think that I'm going to be plugging my phone in and leaving it uh, in the rear box um, very often. I don't really see the need for that um, unless I'm using Android Auto for directions to go somewhere where I need uh, the maps. I'm quite happy just to have the Bluetooth connection so that I can receive and make calls. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy just to keep the phone in my pocket. So that's probably um, how I'll do things long term. Um, the sound quality from my Cena S50S, uh, I'm very impressed with. The intercom works well when I've got a, a pillion. And yeah, very, very happy with all of that technology. Um, what else? So a lot of people say the wheels are very hard to keep clean and that the brake pads, standard brake pads, produce a lot of dust. Um, I'll give a little bit of a plug to a product that I applied to the bike as soon as I got it, and that's um, this Mother's CMX ceramic coating. Uh, so when I got the bike home from the dealer, I applied that to the, to the whole bike, including... Uh, the front and rear wheel and I've noticed that on the rides that I've been on so far um, when we stop there doesn't seem to be much dust on the wheels and when I washed the bike last week what little bit of dust that I could see on the front wheel pretty much just hosed straight off um, and, and just made the wheel super easy to clean. Um, this product is very easy to apply it's just a wipe on leave it for a couple of minutes and wipe off. Um, I use it on my Lexus car and I've used it on my previous bikes and, and I find yeah it, it offers a, a great deal of bang for your buck in an easy to apply uh, ceramic spray coating. So big shout out to mothers for that. Um, apart from that uh, not a lot to report. Uh, I find, you know, I, oh, I, I changed the uh, stand pad last time I had a red one on there because when I ordered the bike I thought I was getting a red bike but I ordered a, a new stand pad from AliExpress. Um, and that's about it. I don't see that I'll be putting, or I don't think that I'll be putting many more uh, bling type accessories on the bike. I'm happy with where it's at. I'm really uh, happy with the appearance. Uh, with the suspension, there's been some talk about the front end being undersprung. Um, I, I, for 99% of my riding, I've found the front end to be really good. Not, you know, some people say magic carpet ride and unbelievable and all the rest of it. No, it just feels really good. The new system feels really good. I have had the front end bottom out twice on two rides. So we go on some fairly bumpy back roads. Uh, with potholes and, and, and steep undulations, dips in the road. Twice the front end has banged on me, um, which, uh, you know, I, I can live with that. It was extremely rough roads and we were travelling at speed. Um, so, yeah, OK, maybe it is a little bit undersprung, but I think for most situations it's fine. The electronic rear suspension, I had a little bit of a play with that um, and I found that when I did carry a pillion and I changed the setting to rider plus pillion, it worked really, really well. And uh, just for the experiment, while I was out for the day, I changed it to single rider. And then when we took off, my pillion immediately said, what's happened, the bike feels too soft now. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, you can feel the difference. And we're not particularly heavy. Um, I'm around 80 kilos. My pillion somewhere under close to 70 kilos. But you could really feel the difference um, when we switched to from the two rider mode, uh, rider plus passenger mode to single rider mode. So it, it's effective, it works, and they seem to have the balance sorted out. Uh, they're the only two settings that I've played with. I haven't played with, there's uh, two other settings, which is rider and luggage. 
or rider, passenger, with luggage. So four, four settings altogether. I've only used two of them. And that's about it for this video. So far, so good. Uh, living the dream and, and just happy that the bike is finally here. So next time I do a video, hopefully it'll be from a more interesting location. And yeah, I'll just continue documenting my experience with the new bike. Oh, this here is just uh, also got a key, uh, a little pouch here that fits the key fob perfectly. Um, just leave it in there to prevent any damage if I happen to drop it. And it's got a nice little hook on there uh, to, to clip to whatever you want to. Again, uh, from AliExpress, I ordered a pair of them when I thought I was getting a red bike. So therefore, I've got a red key holder. But anyway, it's blue. And, and that's the way it is. So thank you very much for your time. Hope you like and enjoy the video. Hope it gives you some little extra or you know useful information if you like the video just push the like button and uh yeah see you guys next time bye